If someone asked me what's something that everyone can agree on, I would say that dogs are awesome, don't you think? Here I have solid proof of the love that humanity as a whole has for dogs. This is Furbo, the dog sitting camera. It was designed to be a communication tool for you and your dog while you're away. It also works as a surveillance system to find out how mischievous your dog gets in your absence. That last one is sort of an extra benefit that I see in it. So now, let's see how the dog sitting camera performs. It's about nine inches or 22 centimeters tall. The body looks really smooth, has a glossy finish, and at the top, it has a neat looking bamboo cover. The top can be removed so you can refill the furbo with treats. Yes, you can give your dog treats with this device. And no, I don't know how dogs would perceive it, but to me, it looks pretty nice. Furbo probably fits anywhere in your house, but you have to keep in mind that it needs to be plugged in at all times and it needs a strong Wi-Fi connection to function. Obviously, it would be ideal to place it low enough for the camera to see your dog properly. And you might also want to consider a partially enclosed location so that your pet can't easily knock it over. At the bottom, Furbo has an opening here that takes you to the launching device for troubleshooting. In case a tree gets stuck, then you can clear it out through here and then you're good to go. The device is pretty light, which could be good or bad. You won't strain yourself moving it, but at the same time, it'll be fairly easy for your pet to knock it over. Fortunately, the device and the bamboo top are pretty sturdy. They can easily survive some playful roughhousing with your pet. One thing to keep in mind is that you won't be able to fit treats that are half an inch or bigger. They should be around 0.4 inches or about one centimeter. It means you have to stock up on small treats if you don't want to manually break them into smaller pieces. There's a lot you can do with Furbo beyond spying on your pet. Once you download the app, you'll see that you have a handful of options. The basics let you watch your pupper in real time and talk to it through your phone. And as I mentioned before, you get to throw some yummy snacks. Some of the features only come with the premium option. And those include taking pet selfies, barking or movement alerts, and the possibility of saving footage of your dog. That last one sounds like an easy way to turn your dog into a viral sensation. Setting up Furbo is pretty easy. After you plug it in, the light will turn green and let you know it's ready. Then it'll connect to the Wi-Fi and after that, it'll be good to go. Then you download your companion app. After you load it up, it's just a matter of following simple instructions. Actually, the most difficult part about using Furbo for the first time has to do more with dogs than with the device itself. It might take a while for your doggos to get used to it. But the company thought about that, and they included a training video within the app. In the video, they show you how to train your dog to get acquainted with Furbo. There are a few things that could be done to improve Furbo's functionality. One is making the device less dependent on the app. You can't log in to your account if you don't go through the app and you won't be able to turn it on and off. You can adjust the camera to 360, 720 or 1080p video resolution. In the 1080 version, the image looks crisp and you can even zoom in. However, it could really use a panning feature because as I said before, your pet could knock it over and once Furbo is down, the camera could end up pointing at the floor and then it becomes useless because you can't make it look in any other direction other than straight on. So based on what the camera sees, the Furbo will send you different notifications. When your dog barks, it sends you a barking alert, and when it detects your dog or another person, it will send you a movement alert, which might make it useful as a security camera as well. Speaking of security, Furbo protects your data with private key encryption, and every day at midnight, it'll automatically delete the footage it got during the day. The speakers on the Furbo are quite decent. Your pet should be able to recognize your voice clearly. Of course, the overall functionality of Furbo can vary depending on the number of pets you have and their individual traits. For example, if you have two dogs and one of them is very dominant, there's not much that Furbo can do to make sure that one dog doesn't get all the treats. You can get the opportunity to check on your dog even though you're away which will also reduce your anxiety about your pet's well-being. It's also very likely that your pet will not feel as lonely with the Furbo at home. That will probably end up saving you money because a dog that is not as lonely will spend less time chewing on your shoes or figuring out what's inside your pillows. 
The basic features of live watch and tree tossing are already worth it. Extra features like dog selfies and the alerts that come with the premium are also valuable. All in all, I think your pet will definitely appreciate Furbo, especially if it already spends most of the day by itself. So that was it for Furbo, the pet sitting camera. I'm Alex Aspe and I'll see you soon.